Hey everybody, today we're at Mill Harbor Condominiums on St. Croix's North Shore about a mile west of Christiansted. It's located inside of this beautiful lagoon area that's protected by Long Reef which runs all the way from Christiansted entrance to the harbor all the way down to the Palms Hotel. So it's always calm and protected, awesome for paddle boarding, kayaking, you can even you know snorkel your way out to the reef loaded with lobster and fish and stuff, it's a great experience. Really cool location for that. Plus, you've got an on-site pool, on-site restaurant, and beautiful condos that run all the way back to the road. So if you're looking for a place that's more in the affordable range, on the beach, this is the unit for you. This one specifically is right there. It's the end unit, top floor, fully renovated, in sweet condition. If you're looking for something ready to move into, on the beach, this is your unit. Let's go check it out. Okay, just leaving the pool and restaurant area, showing you how this complex is laid out in this beautiful walkway that runs along here. And check out this little monster, leftover dinosaur. What's up, dude? Chilling in the shade. But as you can see, all of the units run this way. Most of them have the view in this direction, which is not ocean view, but the unit that we've listed, unit 301, is down at the very end, at the very top floor. That's a really special spot right there. All right, let's make our way over to check it out. As you walk along here, you'll come across this little memorial to Jim Byrne, he, Byrne Brown Real Estate. He's the guy that built this property back in the 60s. Really nice guy, I used to enjoy hanging out with him. He taught me quite a few tricks about the real estate business. All right, we'll keep on walking. Here's the restaurant on site, Coral Sea Cafe and Restaurant. Give them a call and try it out. It is open to the public, by the way. Okay, here we are stepping down from the side walkway, crossing the moat, and then the manager's office is right here. So beautiful lagoons in here. There's actually lobster living in this lagoon, which is kind of cool. This is the manager's office, and then here we are in sort of the lobby area. Okay, we're gonna take a right at the top of these stairs and head up to 301. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, feel that breeze. Wow. All right, you walk straight into this foyer area. To the right, there's a guest bath and a guest bedroom we'll get to in a minute, but first let's check out the main living area and the view. Walking right past the kitchen, through the living room, out the new sliders, and bam, there you are. Looking straight out to the Caribbean Sea direct view of Buck Island. Check this out. Green Key Island behind the coconut palm. And here comes Big Beard on his way back from a Buck Island trip. Just a perfect view. And like I said, it's like a two minute stroll over to the pool into the restaurant is right there behind that, that wall there. And then the view is just insane right on the water. Nice long gallery, all travertine tile, beautifully furnished. Like I said, new sliding doors there, here, and off the master bedroom. But check it out, with these opened up, it really creates a big open livable space. And that travertine tile carries throughout. If you've got your TV entertainment center there, and then really high vaulted ceilings, AC above, and then the master bedroom's up there, which we'll go to in a minute, but down here you've got two comfortable guest bedrooms, but check out this kitchen, beautiful granite, all awesome tile. I love these fish scale tiles, they're super cool looking. Never seen any quite like that. Under counter lighting, micro, dishwasher, electric range, all matching stainless, and a really nice full size fridge here. Freezer drawer on the bottom. Another bonus is this um, built in pantry area. Real classy looking. These all pull out, so if you wanted to pull out these drawers, these can come out for additional storage. And you actually got an outlet down there, so if you wanted to put something that needed to be recharged, vacuum cleaner or a blender or a other type of uh, rechargeable device, you could do that. But super comfortable area here. All right, we're going to bank a right straight into a king size guest bedroom. Again, same nice sliders, vaulted high ceilings. Double closets, left and right, and then the bathroom is there. Again, looking out to the same gorgeous view with access out to it. I have the AC on, so I left the door closed for the moment, but 
could easily utilize that as, and again, more travertine carries all the way through to the bathroom. And then check out this shower. Gorgeous. All good quality finish work here. It's not cheap tile or finishes. It's all good stuff. I mean, look at the, the wand and the shower head, barn door style, glass shower doors, and that same nice granite, lots of mirrors, Excellent guest bed. This could actually really be a master. All right, I want to cross over. Check out this second guest bedroom. Love you to the beach and back. And bath with laundry. This is a queen size bedroom. Very nicely appointed. Also has the high ceilings, separate AC for this room as well. This is looking back down to the parking area. Another great option if you're a guest. Either one of these guest bedrooms is awesome. And then you have this um, semi ensuite bath that doubles as a guest bath. Vented fan, you got another nice big glass shower there. And then in here is the washer dryer, full size GE stacked. Little bit of storage in here for brooms and whatnot. And then your main electric panel. Additional cabinetry is here as well for all your linens. This one's set up as an owner's closet right here, so that one's off limits for renters. All right, that's the ground floor area. Let's go check out the upstairs. The spiral staircase leads you up here from the living room area, but once you get up top here, you're back to another king size bed, sleigh bed, super nice with storage below. I love these beds that have the additional storage. Otherwise, it's such a waste of open space underneath the bed. Why not use it for storage? Another set of new sliders. All this furniture is pretty new. Owner's closet, a bigger owner's closet, split system AC, a nice little patio area out here. If you wanted to set up a table or chairs or whatever out there, you could do that. Now these windows that are looking down, these, these are bifold doors that can open up and then you would be looking down to the living area. This owner has them closed pretty much all the time. I think a good option would be to have a couple of nice pieces of opaque glass put in there. That would give you the light, but it would also keep you the privacy the way it is. Okay, and then we have your ensuite bath. Got your vanity. Room for a second sink. If you wanted to upgrade this, you could easily pop another, make that a double. Your closet on the right, and then into the water closet and shower. This unit actually has a tub with a shower on this side, and then the toilet is over on this side. So really good setup. A lot of space up here. This is a big room. So it really properly is the master. That one downstairs could be considered so, but um, you just have a lot more room up here to work with. Okay, and then we can head back down the steps. These are pretty comfortable spiral steps, by the way. A lot of them are a little bit tight, but that one's pretty good. And then my favorite little spot is the cigar bar. If you're gonna have a little stogie or whatever, come out here at night, take a seat, check out this view. Now these are the only units on this end and the only third floor unit with this awesome little nook leads straight back into the living area. Such a great place to just read a book or chill out. So that's 301 Mill Harbor, everybody. If you wanna check it out, give us a holler. Love to show it to you. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna take myself a nice stroll for about two miles down to the Palms Hotel. Get myself a afternoon club soda with lime. All right. Have a good one. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. I hope you guys enjoyed that property tour. If so, click down here to subscribe. Click up here for more just like it. And right up here to go to our website to see everything about real estate in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.